We are D and Allie. Come along and join us aboard Journey. Oh, oh yeah, seasons change. No promise of tomorrow, but that's okay. Just live in the moment day by day. We are back in the States and super excited to get a week with Lilia. She's coming to spend some time with us the week of July 4th. We can't wait to explore the world with her. From ducks and the lake, horses and boat rides, just to name a few. But watching her personality shine is the best. July 4th is a hot one, but we head out to the lake to spend some time with our friends. And Lilia is a trooper and she enjoys the lake, food, water, and the toys provided by Brody. After a very important phone call Lilia needed to make, it was time to see the horses. She loves her nays. This will be a memorable experience now for Dee and I as Fury passed in the fall of 2023. As you can see, she enjoys exploring farm life at Bill and Lisa's house. And the cats. We did not know then that when Sugar would come back to live with Hannah and Aldo, Lulu would fall in love with her. We should have seen that coming. Look at Ernie's steps, her little dainty steps. Like his gravel? I do. I love it. I wish we could do everything like this. We always, always enjoy spending time with our lake friends, especially when Chef Mark prepares dinner on the Blackstone. Sunset with friends is something we really do miss about North Carolina summer. After a visit to Alexandria to see Jesse and experience five hours of worship at National Community Church in July, which was a great experience, we also get to keep Harley for a long weekend while Jesse goes on a bachelorette weekend. And we use these times passing through Durham to begin building Hannah and Aldo's gazebo, but I believe they finally had to finish it for themselves. Busy, busy, busy we are. Mom and Dad purchase a new camper, so we buy theirs and set out to sell our motorhome which included a 24-hour round trip to Florida to tag the new one and get the title for the motorhome, but she is sold. Also, while we're home, Dee's insurance agency becomes a true independent, finally breaking long, hard ties with an aggregate company. Now he and Stormy have so much to do, and I'm trying to help as much as possible to keep this new endeavor off the ground. This coming year will be a difficult but rewarding one, we pray. Dee and I also spent a night in Durham painting Hannah and Aldo's garage floor, which turned out great. But the Airbnb we stayed in was a different story. What I learned is to take pictures. That's what helped us get some of our money back. It was very dirty. 
trash left in bags in the living room. We had no sheets on the bed and no towels in the bathroom. Crazy, but we endured. And in enjoying these last few days with Lily and Hannah, as I returned to Moore's with us for our final weekend, which included another sunset boat ride with Hannah and her friends, and Lilia. I think she liked it, except for the life jacket. Just as we were preparing to leave and spending the final days with Hannah and Lilia, we learned people on Dee's property preparing to move the mobile home. This was just a chaotic story that I've already written a blog post about titled Rural Wind, but I'm going to use some of it while I'm preparing this video. But before I go into that, remember that gazebo? Well, the night before we took off to go back to Mexico, a storm takes it out. It's heartbreaking. During this entire trip home, we've continued to try and find out what was going on with Derwin's cousin's mobile home, which is on his property. She said she was having it torn down, but then we found out it was being sold. So much we needed to know about moving a mobile home, but she would just not talk to us. Dee and I sadly had to post signs on the property, hoping to encourage people to call us so we could find out what was going on. Some of the signs were just torn down. This story culminated on our final weekend while Lily and Hannah were visiting. It's Saturday morning, we're having coffee. And the neighbor, who is a renter, called to tell us a lot of people were on the property. Steve flew out of the house and asked her to call the sheriff's office because he didn't know who was there. When he arrived, it was the new owner and the moving company, who failed to read the signs and just moved the barricade at the driveway. The deputy explained everything to them about how they could be arrested and why didn't they call the number on the sign. But Dee said, give us a minute to see if we can work this out. While discussing with the moving company why they had not contacted him, they continued to say they just assumed the owner was... The same for both. They just ignored the sign. He told them he needed their insurance before they could start. His cousin shows up and then the company pings her for money because she was not forthright with anyone and had, they had to stop their work. After lunch, we met back to get the insurance and she paid them the extra money. They spent most of the weekend out there telling this company what they were going to run into and continuing to have to ask them to correct mistakes like a broken water line, which caused the other renter to be without water for hours and now realizing how embedded the mobile home was in the ground after so many years. He made sure it was done right with little damage to the property, and they cleaned up and dressed the lot, which they did not want to do. But when you're almost arrested, then you can see a little to correct your mistakes. The worst part is that Dee spent almost all day Saturday, Sunday, and Monday on the land watching this shit show. If it hadn't been for one of the contractors, it was a family business, then it would have really been bad. As I said before, Everything he predicted in an email he had sent his cousin happened, and it cost her more money. Let's say you sell for 1000 but then you have to give the moving company 800 for your lies. Seems like a lot of work to be deceptive for nothing. But now we can look forward to having a great little spot to put the fifth wheel and have a place for us here in North Carolina. <laughs> We have to end this all on a good note, and that is all about Lilia, or our sunshine. She lights up our life. She loves animals and is curious about the world around her. Her smile lights up the room, and she is quite the comedian. She is really understanding that I am memes. Well, right now she thinks we're both collectively memes, but we're working on it, Cappy. Living in the moment, capturing enjoyment. Oh, we are living in the moment, life full enjoyment. Oh, stay tuned as Jesse and Harley join us in Mexico on board journey. Jesse and I take a trip to Isla Mujeres to try to swim with the whale sharks, and Dee and Jesse head to Peru to hike the Inca Trail.